What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Wand through the narrated version. Yeah, that's me doing this all over again because I got a lot of flack from many of you guys. You guys didn't like the unnarrated version, so I might as well do it. I might as well play Pokemon Fire Red version with a little bit of a twist. Small twist. Or pretty much just a small discovery and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and press that button before this cutscreen goes away. Okay, so, yes, we are playing Pokemon Fire Red and all that crud. I did play it as, a, as an unnarrated version during the pandemic and all that stuff, and yes, I do know. We do have a Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough that is 10 years of Draven. Now, there is a little bit of something different that we're going to be doing here. I'm going to get to it after we read this dialogue and do the whole beginning shindig right here. So, as you guys can see, in the world in which you're about to enter, you will embark in a grand adventure with you as a hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press A to let your adventure begin. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Okay, so here we have Professor Oak, and he's just gonna be like, Hello there! Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as a Pokemon professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Okay. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. And, uh, well... <laughs> As you guys can see, it gives us the option of a male or female, obviously, through the voice. You know, you can hear the voice. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a man. But unfortunately, we're going to have to play as a 10-year-old boy right here. So yes, my name is uh, good old Draven right here. So let's go ahead and uh, begin with the name right here. Yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. And we're just going to be going with Draven right here, because GLD kind of sounds a little weird if you call me that. Right, so your name is Draven, yes. And this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Hmm, what is his name now? Well, we're just gonna name him off, you know, the same old, you know, a-hole name right here, Gary, because, well, you know, Gary happens to be the biggest a-hole in all of Pokemon. Don't necessarily hate him as much as I hate most rivals, but this guy is just, uh, you know, he, <laughs> he's something. So, of course, our legend is about to unfold, and a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Okay, so here we are back in Kanto, yet again, because we can't... We can't get away from it. We really can't. Anywho, guys, so, as I was saying, yes, I did play Pokemon Fire Red during the pandemic, uh, as a playthrough slash, you know, a narrated version, as many of you guys would like to call it a, a P, uh, LP or whatever. And, uh, yeah, didn't really get a lot of good comments on there because it's like, you know, you guys like, you guys actually like the narration and all that stuff. Some do, some don't. I don't know. I, I don't know the reason why I did that. But anywho, in this walk right here, there's going to be a few things that we're going to be doing. Now, I know that we're playing Pokemon Fire Red before Pokemon Emerald. Do not worry, guys. It doesn't mean that we're going to wait a little longer for Emerald. We're starting that at the beginning of 2023. Secondly, I learned how to trade Pokemon in the Visual Boy Advance. If you guys don't know what that is, it is the emulator that I am using to play this game alongside with Pokemon Emerald. I am going to be trading Pokemon left and right from Leaf Green, Fire Red, and then uh, by the time we can, we're going to be doing the whole Emerald thing too. This is the reason why I'm starting a little earlier with Pokemon Fire Red, because eventually, well, right now, we cannot trade with either Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald. We need something special to do that. So, what is going to happen, during our adventure, we are going to be trading Pokemon. We're going to be using a whole bunch of different Pokemon. It's going to be a little bit different right here, guys, because, yeah, I kind of want to use a, a nice array of Pokemon, and then from there, finally a stable or have a stable team for when we go into the Pokemon Elite 4 and all that stuff. Now the other thing too, many of you guys like this and I'm going to continue it right here. There are 
a lot of battles here, guys. And I mean a lot of battles. They kind of prolong the episode. Many of you guys just, you know, say it drags. So, you guys enjoyed in Pokemon Crystal the whole speed up thing. That's what we're going to do right here. We're going to be speeding up some battles that are not important to the storyline. But the most important ones like Gym Leader Battles, uh, Elite Four, Boss Battles and all that stuff. Those will stay in this walkthrough. That way you guys can see you know, what we're working with. In no way, shape, or form am I going to edit out the Pokemon Trainers, the regular battles and all that stuff. That way you guys can see what they have. I just need to make sure that I don't faint along the way and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and start this whole thing. Let's go straight into the PC. Let's go ahead and grab this wa uh, this potion right here. And let's continue on with our adventure right here in the Kanto region. So, yes, I cannot wait to start trading Pokemon within Leaf Green. Uh... You guys already know, I kind of lost the files to the original Leaf Green walkthrough, so what is going to happen, or what's been going on, is I've been playing Leaf Green off-screen just to get to where I need to be alongside the Pokemon that I've already captured. As you guys can see, we're trying to walk out to the grass. Professor Oak's like, it's unsafe while Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your old Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Yes, we're going to go with him, and we are going to get ourselves our very first Pokemon. Oh man, I cannot wait for all these things all these things to happen. I cannot wait, guys. Oh yeah, and by the way, I, I will be teaching you guys how to trade Pokemon in the Visual Boy Advance. Uh, maybe this will be the very first episode or very first video on my House of Draven channel right there. Yeah, I, I do have a third channel. Whatever. <laughs> Anywho, here's Gary. He's like, Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. <laughs> oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Draven. There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose! Of course, Gary's gonna be a little... A little angry about this. He's like, hey, Gramps, no fair, what about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. <laughs> Flipping you off, Gary. Okay, so... Believe it or not, guys, I, I... Oh, man, this is gonna be another long story. I gotta... I gotta condense this one out. Okay, so... Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green. One of my favorite games of all time. Yes. The Pokemon teams that I could have... I wrote them down, and it just... It was very, very hard. That's why I decided that, you know what? I should probably just mix it up. Use some different Pokemon, show them to you guys, and then finish it off with, you know, the Pokemon uh, Elite Four and all that stuff. In Leaf Green, I actually went with Charmander right here, the Fire-type Pokemon. I do love myself a challenge, but since we've already gotten Charmander quite a few times, it was up to either Bulbasaur right here, which is the Grass-type Pokemon that eventually becomes, well, it is both a Grass and Poison-type Pokemon. And we got ourselves Squirtle right here, which is the Water-type Pokemon. Do you know the amount of combinations I had to, 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 to pick up in order to actually make a proper team? It's a lot, guys. It is a lot. So, it came down to this. There are a lot of Pokemon that I would love to use that also have the Poison-type capability. So, with that being said, we're going to be going with Squirtle right here. Yes, Squirtle, the Water-type Pokemon. I do love me some Squirtle, and we barely use it in any walkthrough. So yes, we are going to be giving this guy a nickname. And if you guys have watched my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough, we already gave this guy a nickname. It is a pretty good one. Let's go ahead and name this guy after a Ninja Turtle. Say hello, guys, to Leonardo. That's right. The Squirtle. And, well, of course, Gary is going to be the a-hole, and he's going to be picking the type advantage over us. He's going to pick the Bulbasaur. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Squirtle, right here. Now, this is Generation 3. As many of you guys already know, Pokemon natures and Pokemon effects, or abilities, have been introduced. And when the remakes came out, it, it became a little bit more challenging because, well, <laughs> we never had these in Generation 1. So, as you guys can see, we do have the Naive Nature. This right here, if I'm not mistaken, affects two things right here. The increased stat and decreased stat. For a Naive Nature, it is going to increase my speed, but my special defense is going to go down. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, 
There are two other stats that you need to keep an eye out for. It is its favorite uh, favorite flavor and di dislike flavor. If you guys don't know what that is, it is the what was it? The, the puff, the the puffins or something like that that you mix, that you create and all that stuff. They're berries, whatever. You know, I'll get to it once I get to Pokemon Emerald. And it usually affects its stats for like beauty, smartness, and all that crud. You don't have to worry about that right here in the uh, well in the in the uh, remakes right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at its ability. As you guys can see, it has Torrent, ups water types moves, and it yeah we're not the fastest Pokemon right now. But since we got the naive nature, that's going to help us just a tad bit. And of course, we do have basic moves right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, well get get on with this battle right here. Wait, Draven, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Okay, so here we are in our very first Pokemon battle, and it's up against Gary, and he's going to be coming out with his Bulbasaur right here. And Leonardo is making his debut, and of course, Professor Oak right here is going to try and teach us about how to battle a Pokemon, what it affects, and all that stuff. And if you were to use your potion, yes, he does talk about that too. So we're going to be going with a Tackle Attack. As many of you guys already know too, Bulbasaur does have the same kind of moveset, so just be aware of that. And here we go, another tackle attack. And this guy is not taking uh, me lightly. He's going to be a little faster than us, and look at that, critical hit already. Yeah, don't want to risk that. So let's go ahead and do one more tackle attack right here. And this one is in the books because look at that, tackle attack for the win. That's right. Say goodbye to Bulbasaur. Okay, look at that. Alrighty. And we have defeated our rival Gary right here. <laughs> He's like, I picked the wrong Pokemon. You probably didn't. You probably did. I don't know. And yes, Professor Oak will explain to us that we do earn some money after defeating these guys. He's like, okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle and toughen it up. Draven, Gramps, smell you later. Okay. Alrighty. So... Let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. In this first episode, many of you guys already know, we're going to be doing a few things. We're going to be going to the uh, Pokemart to actually pick up a, uh, what was it called? Uh, to go pick up a Parcel, and then we're going to finish this episode off by battling Gary yet again. Now, a few other things that are gonna you guys are going to be seeing right here with the obvious, uh, what was it called? Uh, the obvious edits and all that stuff. I will be cutting out a lot of stuff from uh, from the video itself. Like when we return back to Pallet Town, I'm gonna cut the whole journey back. I'm just gonna fast forward all the way down. That way, we don't have to waste time just you know watching me just walk down and all that stuff and battle all these guys. And well, why are you moving? He's talking to this guy. He's like, "Hi, I work at the Pokemart. It's a uh, it's a part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go." And there we go, we got ourselves another potion right there. And yes, you guys got it right. Wild Pokemon Battles, I will be editing out because, well, we don't need to see us battle uh, a lot of Raditas and Pidgeys and all that stuff. So, look at us. We made it free. Viridian City, the very first city that we need to go to. And what you need to do right now is you need to go straight to the Pokemon because, well, obviously, you guys are going to be thinking, we can get Pokeballs and all. But no, this guy's like, hey, he came from Palatown. Yes, we did. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it for him? Sure. So we get ourselves an Oak's Parcel. And that right there is pretty much it. Now, for those who don't know, if you're trying to go into the next route, it will be impossible because there's this guy supposedly laying down. And he's going to be like, I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. Wow, such an angry individual. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm so sorry, he hadn't had his coffee yet. Well, if you guys, yeah, if you guys played the original versions, it wasn't pretty much coffee, it was something else, you know, the glug glug, you know, the, 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 the happy sauce. So, we're going to fast forward back to Professor Oak's lab. I'm going to be battling quite a few Pokemon along the way, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are back in Pallet Town. 
And we all know how much I like to over, uh, overdo it or overachieve. Yes, I did train my Pokemon up to level 10 just for the occasional battle. Now, here we are back in Professor Oak's lab. He's going to be like, oh, Draven, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it in order. Thank you. And, well, you know, as always, we got Gary coming in, and he's like, I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Wait, how did you call him? Seriously, like, where do I get these phones and stuff? <laughs> All right, I have a request for the two of you. On this desk, there is a, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a, it's a high-tech encyclopedia. Draven, or Draven and Gary, take these with you. And, well, there it is. We received our Pokedexes. That's pretty awesome. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. And bam, we get ourselves five Pokeballs. This is pretty awesome right here. And when a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and it will try and try and catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape, you have to be very lucky, just kind of like the uh, tutor guy, huh? To make a complete guide on all Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't just, I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. <laughs> well, of course, Gary's gonna be like, all right, Gramps, leave it up to me. Draven, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a talent map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Draven. <laughs> Don't bother coming around my place after this. Flipping you off, homeboy. I am flipping you off. Okay, so let's go straight to his house and see if his sister actually likes us more than Gary. Let's go ahead and see. Come on. Come on, Daisy. You know, you know you like me a lot. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk to her. And she's like, a Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. And bam, we get ourselves a town map. You see, she likes us more than Gary. <laughs> you can use the town map to find out where you are or check the names of of places. That is true. Very, very true. Okay, so I'm going to be fast forwarding all the way to Viridian City. That way we can, uh, you know, continue on our adventure right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in Viridian City. And uh, there really isn't a lot that you got to see right here in Viridian City. As many of you guys can see, this guy has already, you know, gotten his quote-unquote coffee. And he's going to be like, well, now that I have in my, I've had my coffee and I, that's what I need to get going. Hmm. What is that red box you have? Ah, you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I suppose I better show you then. And, well, here is a tutorial that we really don't need because, well, you know, we are very, very advanced. We are mighty. We are, well, we just don't need the, the tutorial, but he's going to do it anyways. So this guy right here is going to prove to us that he is one of the lucky ones. As Professor Oak says, that, you know, he's going to throw a Pokeball. Bam. Easy peasy. Oh, my God. He's going to make it so easy for himself. And bam. So there you go, guys. He has caught himself a Weedle. Not bad. And uh, there. Now tell me, that was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. And we get ourselves a Teachy TV, which, of course, will teach us anything we need to know. Uh, the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. No, I will not make an episode of it. Yeah, I know how many of you guys didn't really like that one. So, there's that. Now, if you guys can see right here, there is a Pokemon gym. Unfortunately, nobody knows who the gym leader is, and you're going to be talking to this guy. He's like, this Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. So, yeah, there is no gym battle right now. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go through a little bit of something something right here to, you know, get us a little starter right here. Now, off screen, I did capture myself Pidgey and Rattata. Uh, and, yeah, you can find a potion right here. And, uh, yeah, I think those two Pokemon are just for this little situation that's going to happen. So, if you go straight to Route 22, you will find some different kinds of Pokemon. Mankey comes to mind. Spearow, Rattata. 
But we're not there for those Pokemon. We're here for, well, this Pokemon battle right here. As you guys can see, Gary's like, Hey, Draven, you're up to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Doesn't even let me say yes. Okay, so here it is, guys. We are taking on a rival Gary. He's going to be coming out with his very first Pokemon, that is Pidgey. And, well, yeah, I've been having lots and lots and lots and lots of battles against Pidgeys and all that crud. And, yeah, they are not my friends at all. What we're going to be doing right here, it's gonna be, we're going to be a little strategic. This guy's going to try and lower our accuracy just a little bit. And we're going to try and heighten our bubble or, you know, our strength or our defense just a little bit right here. As you guys can see, he is throwing some uh, sand attacks. And, yeah, we're not going to be... Yeah, we're not liking this guy right now. So, the way to clear clear the sand from your eyes, not through bubble, is you can switch out your Pokemon right here in order to get to him. And right now, we're lucky. We are lucky enough to go through this whole thing. And, well... Go ahead and do that, and here comes another bubble attack, and bam, just like that. Oh, wow, he survived, okay, and okay, so that sand attack is not really my friend right now. Let's go right ahead. I knew that this was going to be an issue going into this battle right here, so let's go ahead and try one more bubble. Luckily for us, we did a withdrawal just to heighten our defense a little, and this guy right now is not giving us a shot and here we go one final bubble attack for the win and just like that Pidgey has been defeated okay so we get some more points right there and he's gonna be coming out with a Bulbasaur so let's go with a little bit of a, sacrif a sacrificial lamb right here there you go and well Let's see, let's go straight for a bet, or let's go straight for a potion right here. I did buy myself quite a few potions, just in case. I realized something, that Leonardo is a Pokemon that very, very tough to train, especially in this whole situation. And, as you guys can see, Bulbasaur is a little stronger than usual. So, we're going to be going straight for Leonardo. Now it's cleared of any kind of a sand on its face. And, yes, this is going to be... Yeah, this is going to be a, uh, a bit of a tackle attack battle right here. So here he goes again with a tackle attack. Here we go, and I miss. WTF. And there we go again. I am one level ahead of you. Come on. Yes, I am boring you guys to death because of this. And tackle attack again. Tackle attack right here. And that's how you do it, guys. Alrighty. So we have defeated a uh, good old buddy Gary. And we're at level, level 11. And Gary, not happy. He's like, ah, oh, you just lucked out. Kind of, probably, maybe just a little bit. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Hmm. This guy's a bit of a, you know, ray of sunshine. Anywho, now before we finish off this episode, guys, I am going to capture a Pokemon that we're going to be needing going into the, uh, what was it called? The Viridian Force. So, just give me a second right here. Okay, so it took me a while, but here it is, guys. We're going to be capturing Spearow as our first Pokemon on our team. And I mentioned this early on, guys, that... Yes, this walkthrough will be experiencing a lot of team members. So don't get used to the don't get used to the usual suspects right here because I have a team planned out of uh, quite a few Pokemon right here. So here it is guys, we got ourselves a Spiro. Just to get us through the radio boards and all that stuff, so yeah, it's nothing too big. So here you have Spiro, the tiny Pokemon. It bustily flits. I can't even uh, pronounce that one. Flits around here and there. Even if it's frail, it can be move. It, it can be a tough foe that uses mirror move, which is a move that copies your stuff. And yes, let's go ahead and bequeath the name to this Pokemon right here. Say hello to Tornado. That's right. Oh wait, Tornado. There we go. And there she is. Okay, Tornado, how's it going? So anywho, this has been the very first episode 
of our first, uh, well, our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Yes, narrated and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, this is how it's going to be from now on, guys, in, uh, these certain, certain situations, or certain, uh, uh, walkthroughs. We're going to be cutting out quite a few things just to get to important parts right here. So I hope you guys like that. In the next episode, we're going to be going straight to the Viridian Forest. And then from there, I believe, the first gym battle. So thank you guys again for being supportive, being patient, and all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, the heart button is right there down below. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.